This is the Find Your Age video for the VEX VR Level 3. In this one, you're asked to use a blue pen to mark the day you were born, a red pen to mark the uh, month you were born, and a green pen to mark the uh, year you were born. So if I come over here, I'm going to look at my uh, number grid and Obviously, I'm going to see I need to make a right hand turn to my 10, mark that in red, uh, make a left hand turn, go up to my 31 line, make another left hand turn, move my way over, mark that in blue. And then I'm going to make a right hand turn to move up again to my line of my 40s, make a right hand turn to move to the year 48. So the code for this is going to be a little bit longer and uh, might involve uh, a second video. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn right 90 degrees to put my robot in that position. And just like the previous videos, I'm going to use a repeat control structure just so I can make my program possibly more usable in the future. So again, I'm going to go into, once I made that right hand turn, I'm going to drive forward and I want to do this nine times. Now, once I get to the, my spot, I'm going to go to my looks tab, which is something new. And I want to set my color for my pen. As I can see in my pseudocode to red. And I'm going to choose to do another repeat command. And I'm going to draw a square around my number. So I'm going to repeat this four times to draw a square. And what I'm going to do is go to my drive forward command. And I'm going to grab a turn uh, left command. So I'm going to turn left 90 degrees and I'm going to drive forward 50 degrees or 50 millimeters. So what that's going to do is it's going to create my pen to draw a little number or a little square around that number. So when I'm done to put my robot in the correct position again, I'm going to turn left one more time, 90 degrees. And of course, then I'm going to move my pen up. Oh, so I, what I forgot here is to move my pen down. So now that I've driven that little square around it, I'm going to move my pen up. So as we can see, this program is going to run. My robot's going to go there. Uh, and unfortunately, I didn't move the robot off the square, so you're not going to be able to see that square. So the next thing I need to do is go to my number 49. So we or it should be 31. 31. So to do this, now that I have my robot reorientated, I can just come back and use some of my existing code. So uh, I need to go forward. What are we looking at? Three lines, one, two, three. So I need to drive forward three lines. So I'm just going to detach this really quick. And I can duplicate this. Then I can re put this together. Actually, I'm not for right now. So then I'll come back to my 31. And I'm going to drive forward. And what I want to drive forward is one, two, and three squares. So I'm going to change that number to a three. So now that I'm there, what am I going to do? I want to duplicate this section of it. And I want to, instead of turning right at this point, I'm going to change this command to left. So now I'm here and I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So again, I'm going to have that nine. So I'm at that square again. I will continue this in uh, rejoining this. I'm going to continue in the next video.